check this out. I got another 50. God wanted to get rid of it. I know it's dark out here, but I'll get it on the stand in a minute. Let you guys see it, but bought me another 50 and uh, the guy only wanted 350 bucks for it. And I gotta tell you, usually these things are like in pieces and you know it's uh rare that you find one that's got everything um it doesn't have power tilt and trim but you know i mean like he had the remote for it and everything and i mean it's a complete motor actually uh it's got a brand new prop uh <laughs> and then you know like um it's got electric choke it's got everything so now i got a good switch box <clears throat> i actually want to see if this runs and uh see what the impeller's like uh i've got another lower unit that uh, i could put on this that's already been rebuilt but i mean it even has the trim tab it's amazing i mean you never you rarely ever see that so i'll get it out here and get my uh, engine stand and my i've got an eye bolt i'll use my engine stand to lift it up and I've got a uh, got another you know engine mount thing um, engine stand so anyway that's good news and uh, so I get uh, I get this out and I'll maybe do some camera shots of what all it looks like but man it's like unbelievable sounds like it's got he's got numbers written on there for the compression and I believe him <clears throat> uh, you know he kind of wrote the numbers on there they're all consistent so I don't know what to say about that but that was a great deal yeah check it out this thing just bought this for really cheap and right now it's got some dew on it and stuff so I had it in the back of the truck I didn't get it till later last night but yeah I mean everything looks really really good on it. I mean, all the wiring looks pretty solid. Uh, you know, this even looks good. Yeah, it's kind of inspected. A lot of times, you know, your alternator up there wiring is not great. Uh, but everything is on it. You still have, you know, you got electric choke. It looks like it even has the manual choke attached man I'm telling you these motors usually are never together so anyway I mean he's got cables going down for his battery it even has the steering knuckle um, it's got the old style alternator I mean uh, alternator I'm sorry it's hard to see. Probably, probably need to get a light, but you can see it right there. Uh, it's just a uh, think about bobber. No, it's a uh, rectifier. I can spit it out. Belt looks kind of okay. Probably needs to be replaced. Um, yeah, I mean, and it was firing. I actually checked the fire. Yesterday, and uh, mid-cow looks pretty good. Looks like he kept it greased. Um, came with a remote. And it has the has the switch for it which is pretty cool and then uh, you know and he's got these cables I don't know how long the cables are but it looked to be about well my cables are on my aluminum boat and then it also he had 
was that he had a brand new prop uh, so I bought that thing for 350 bucks I'll go through it fire it up see if it even runs but I bought it for the switch box for this guy you know to finish my 50 horsepower rebuild it's completely rebuilt <laughs> but uh, finding a switch box is almost impossible people want a lot of money for them I thought well I'll find another 50 and then you know maybe I have a good switch box like this guy and it's fire this one's fire really good uh, so you know but usually like I said man these things they they're never together and you're usually missing something you know missing the electric choke and somebody burn it out starters no good the actual starters work, runs good um, yeah I mean it's really pretty solid so anyway it's kind of an update, I guess, on my 50 horsepower project. It is taking literally forever. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to see if there's any, any old, uh, you know, maybe, you know, just look at the carbs. I don't know kind of a cool feel get my eyeball off this is my lifting eye and it and I even backed up in this guy's garage and he had a he had a little you know those hand come along not come along but it's just a you know lift and a hand chain and so I backed right up to it we have to hold, you know, put it in the, you know, manually put it in the back of the truck or nothing. Literally, the guy put it in the back of the truck for me. And it's amazing. So, this guy seemed really, really on top of it. He had a lot of stuff where he's working on. Anyway, he kind of went through and he wrote, you know, the compression for me. And like I said, man, we he put a battery on it, and we just, you know, we we uh, we tested it just to make sure that it was firing. You know, we just put a pop. He had a couple of uh, spark plugs, and we just set them right there, and then he fired it over just to check it. And uh, so yeah, these were in the wrong spot, but. Yeah, we checked it yesterday, and it was fire good, man. Nice, nice, good blue spark. So he thought it needed new spark plugs. Says it runs. I think this is pretty loose. That seems loose. The belt. I'm sure I'll have to replace that belt. I'm almost positive of it. But that's no big deal, you know. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So, yeah, maybe uh, if this one runs, what I'll do is, uh, you know, maybe put it up and then I'll, I'll grab this switch box off here and put it on the other one and just see if it'll fire. So... So, so far we're chasing stuff down. All right, let's see if this thing runs. I got my remote hooked up, gas hooked up, no leaks. Everything seems to be hunky-dory. The ball is hard, battery's on. It's gonna turn on some water when I need it. Just see if it even fires up. Put these some other spark plugs in it. Here we go. That's, that's 
Let's choke it. Most likely it'd be dead, but this thing runs. That's awesome. My neighbors probably hate me, but oh well. Yeah. She runs good. She's actually peeing everything. It's a complete motor. Ready to run. Holy cow. Can't believe that deal. Well, awesome. Well, that'll be an update. We got a good switch box. Uh, I discovered something though. I may have a fatal flaw in my wiring too, because uh, I had the alternator going right back to power and it should have been going to the white wire on the switch box, which fires up the switch box. And I bet thinking about that for the longest time, like shouldn't that, I mean, cause if it's got a chip in there, even if it's a silicon chip, right? Like an early on, I don't know, operational far, I don't know. It's gonna have to have a supply voltage. 
So that 12 volts is going to give it a supply to turn it on. It may have never turned on in the first place. Although I'm sure I fried those other two because I put a hot, because I kept saying that it's got to be, you know. So anyway, I think I did it to the red wire, which is the wrong wire, and I probably toasted it. If I would have went to the white, I would have never, I wouldn't have had the issue. I would have actually it would have worked out for me but unfortunately you know in the diagrams it shows it going back to the your hot wire which is like you know on the alternator i mean it's on the yeah so anyway that's uh interesting so somehow it makes its way back to the battery I'm not sure to look that up. I 